crew was good. Chavis crew was happening. What's the Chavis crew? My family. You guys are already sitting to that. Back with another video for you guys today, bringing you guys an early look at a designer style Jordan 1, the Air Kai. Man, I've been super excited about this shoe. Been seeing it all over the net. One of the hypest, dopest designer and uh, brands out there, man. Cool Kai. Um, times Revis Paris or David Weeks, man. I'm super excited to show you guys a detailed look at these and why I feel like this is paying more homage to Jordan 1 as opposed to being a copycat version of the Jordan 1. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Stay tuned and stay locked on my thoughts and just a detailed review of this very dope shoe. But yeah, man, before we get into today's video, man, shout out to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for a new day, a new opportunity to continue to do, Lord, what you have called me to do. I'm so blessed. I'm so humbled. I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful. If you see anything good in my life, if you see me have anything, if you see my beautiful family, my wife and my son, just know that all the glory, all the honor and all the praise goes to God first. So shout out to God. Without further ado, man. Let's get right into the shoe, man. I'm, I'm super excited about this shoe. Um, I pre-ordered it a while back, probably a month and a half ago or something like that. Um, maybe a little, probably like, yeah, roughly like a month and a half, man. And just to get these in hand, I understand the brand, you know, they trying to push out, you know, so many shoes at the same time. It's the first time, you know, dropping the shoe. So, you know, I was very patient. And it was worth the wait, man. It was straight up worth the wait. So let's get into these shoes all right man so we're gonna start with the box i like the box because it just it is designed by what is going on right now if you see right here you see kobe bryant with a with a little halo above his head man knowing that kobe passed this year just showing you 2020 is showing you um this black lives matter movement that happened you know the george floyd and all those situations man um, rest in peace to him. It's also got uh, Chadwick Bozeman right here as he passed away as well with the halo above his head, man. So rest in peace to Kobe Bryant and Chadwick Bozeman as well. Got the Revis Paris uh, logo here on the box. Um, but yeah, just a dope box. It just kind of sums up 2020, man. I think this Statue of Liberty right here has a, a mask on underneath it as well, man. So I just think it's a dope concept. I really like the box, man, and here's the size, size and tag. I think that's pretty dope. Um, traditional size tag, you know that size twelve. You know the vibes. Um, but yeah, man, the box is extremely dope. Now let's go ahead and open this thing together. Boom! So the first thing that jumps out. Boom! We're here with it. We have a poster, man, a dope poster of the shoes, which I will be posting up here. I'm sure, man. I think it's really dope. Um, I'm re very blessed and feel very grateful to have my first pair and to be a part of history, man. So, like I said, man, shout out to Revis Paris and shout out to my guy, Kai, man. Dope poster. Then as we dig deeper, we got the dust bag, man. This is what gives it that designer feel. Got the size 12 Revis. Nice quality dust bag here, man. Just like you get, you know, with your Gucci shoes and stuff like that, man. So, you know, very premium. Um, I really like that touch, man. And I like all the extra stuff that they gave us here, you know, in these packages, man. Straight up. I think that's dope. Um, got your Revis and Air Kai uh, paper, man. You know, got the Air Kai logo with that Revis logo in there as well. Shout out to the two black entrepreneurs that made these happen, man. Uh, I got a lot of respect for y'all. I appreciate y'all and what y'all, you know, are trying to do. And, I, and I'm and i liking the creativity and where y'all are going with it. I know a lot of people saying, oh, it's just a Jordan 1. It's just a this. I ain't trying to hear none of that because it like what they did to these shoes and the packaging that they gave us and the, the premium look and the feel and the quality of the leather, which we're going to get into, is just dope, man. And, you know, we got an extra pair of socks here, man, an off-white pair of socks. Got the Revis logo on the front. Got the little off-white, uh, like a, a tannish or off-white um, color here with the Revis here, man. I just think these are dope. And you got the Air Kai on the back. And it came in this little Ziploc bag, man. Like, all these details for me, details are everything for me, man. So, you know, when I got these, I'm looking like, wow, bro, this is, this is premium right here. I really like that. I like this touch. As well, man, what, what shoes you know come with a pair of socks? I haven't seen any. Um, but yeah, man, let's let's open these guys together. Pull that paper back. Ooh, let y'all get that first look. Look at that. 
Look at that, man. Look at that. Look at that. Let me give y'all this first look real quick. I'm going to grab this shoe so I can show you this detail as well. You got that little hang tag with the, the same little logo that was on the poster. On the inside, you got that Air Kai. Just a dope touch, man. <sighs> mm, got that dope new shoe smell, man. Look at these, bro. Look at these, bro. Like, stop playing with these guys, man. This is a quality premium shoe, man. I love that yellow midsole, man. And You know, y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all first thoughts are before we get knee deep in this shoe, man. Y'all let me know what's up, man. These joints is crazy in hand. All right, guys. So let's go into this detail review real quick for y'all. Looks like a typical Jordan one. Got my you know, lightning bolt down here. I really like this lightning bolt better than the Nike check light. I know y'all gonna look at me crazy, but I'm not capping when I'm when I'm telling you this. Like, I really like that lightning bolt. Um, and I'm really liking the leather on these joints, man. This is some some pretty good leather, man. You can't you can't even go wrong with it, man. Look at look how soft this toe box leather is. It's not the most premium in the world, but this is a very nice leather that you put on you know, these shoes, man. So shout out to them. They gave us a premium and quality product that was worth waiting for, man. So let's get on this outer sole. We got that red outer sole. Got my lightning bolt up here, that logo. Got the air kai in the middle. Typical standard Jordan 1 uh, outer sole. Then one of my favorite parts is that midsole, man. That yellowed midsole, that aged midsole. Um, but, you know, in hand, it's just so smooth and so clean, man. A very dope addition to the shoe, man. They kind of changed, you know, the, the look of the shoe as well as this looks very similar to the Jordan 1 black toe. Then you come up to um, your upper and you have on the toe cap, you have that nice black premium leather on your toe box. Got that white with the perforated holes. Then here on the mud guard, you got that little black mud guard with a piece of that lightning bolt on there as well. You got your lightning bolt going down instead of your Nike check. Stitching is perfect on the angle. And you also have this white panel on the middle, followed by, you know, this red on the heel and on the upper uh, back part of the shoe as well. Um, man, and then the collar up here is, you know, black, of course. You got your air kai on the tag, on the tag that's on the uh, tongue. Um Man, standard black laces uh, come with these as well, man. But yeah, man, these joints is just crazy. I really like the way they look, how heavy they are and how they feel. Like it just feels like you have a premium quality product in your hands, man. So, man, shout out to them. Much love. I really, really, really love this shoe. I can't wait to do a how to style video on these things, man. But yeah, man, y'all let me know again what y'all think about these guys. I'm going to put both of them on the screen for you. Then I'm going to do a little bit of a comparison um, with a Jordan 1 and show you, you know, some of the similarities, some of the differences. But y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all think about these, man. I suggest you go try your best to get your hands on some Revis joints. Another touch that I really like um, with this shoe, man, is... Um, is that they only made 2,000 pairs of these. And, you know, I got a, you know, a dope pair of these things, man. And I'm just grateful for these, man, for show that. And also, we have, I forgot about this part. One more part. Oh, we got to get this insole up out of here. Got a little shoe tree wrapped in a little paper. Join out, Jimmy. Just join out. You feel me? But yeah. So we have who that Revis soul joining that thing, man. That joint is tough. Very, very tough. Nice soft material. But I really like that touch, man, with the flames on it. I think that was a really dope touch, man. But yeah, man, let's get on to this comparison real quick. All right, guys, just to do a quick comparison, man. Here's your Air Kai. And here's my homage to home, man. They're pretty similar. I would say the toe box is slightly different, a little bit wider on the Kai. But I think this homage to home had a slightly different toe box as well. Um, but a very, you know, very similar look to it. Um, I really like um, this Air Kai as well. 
you know, it's pretty similar, especially when it goes on feed. You're not really going to really pay attention to that. You can tell the difference between that yellow midsole. Though. Look at that yellow midsole. Look at that premium white. And then look at that yellow midsole. I think it gives it a dope aged look that I really like. And that's really been popular here lately. Um, you know, the panels are pretty much different. I mean, <laughs> I said different. The panels are pretty much the same. Um, I would say... Man, it's, it's pretty spot on, to be honest, man. I really like that. Um, these look pretty similar, man. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I would just say the major difference in this one is that midsole and also the toe box is just a little bit wider. That would be it. Maybe the shape is a little bit different. I think this one is a little wider, a little bit shorter. Um, this is a longer, more Coke bottle shaped um, uh, the back on the back of the shoe. Um, but man, these are, these are really similar, man. These are really similar. I had to show y'all, you know, these two head to head and just show you, you know, just a little bit of the differences in these shoes. But I really like this shoe, man. You know, I appreciate what they're doing for the culture. And, um, I, I really like these, man. I cannot wait to put these on feet. I did not get a chance to get the Air Jordan 1 black toe and they going for OD prices right now. So this was perfect for me. It's dope. It's slightly different, like I always want to be. It's only a little over 2,000 pairs made. Um, I don't know what happened to the production on mine, but mine is not numbered. But I'm not going to trip and complain about it. I'm just glad to have my pair. I know how many were made. And, you know, it's just dope to have a piece of history in my hands, man. A piece of history. I got another pair coming soon, too, that I'm going to do a review for you guys for, man. But, yeah, man, y'all sound off in the comments below. And let, let me know what you think, man. What, what you think? Do y'all like these? You know, do y'all think, you know, oh, man, why did he uh, 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 pretty much make a copy of the Jordan 1? Or, you know, was y'all was y'all rocking with these, man? I, I feel like, you know, for me, I feel like he was paying more homage to the Jordan 1. And um, I remember when he posted about, you know, when people were talking about these are replicas and all this type of stuff. He was just saying that. You know, I'm paying homage to a shoe that I fell in love with. This is my favorite shoe. And to be able to make my own version of my favorite shoe is just extremely dope. So shout out to him, man. Shout out to uh, David Week. Shout out to uh, Cool Kai, man. I appreciate y'all. Um, y'all got a really dope product, man. And I can't wait to purchase more things from you guys, man. Y'all keep doing what y'all doing. It's all love from this way, man. I really think these are dope. You better go get your hands on them because they they bought the pop. You know, they got Jim, they got in the hands of Jim Jones, they got in the hands of Megan Thee Stallion, um, they got in the hands of some fabulous, they got they getting in people's hands, man. I be seeing people in the comments, sneaker guys in the comments, man. So y'all better stay tuned. Y'all better get on the wave because the wave is here. The Kai Air Kai wave is here, and they they going up, man, and I'm going up with them straight up. I need everything. But yeah, man, that is all for today's video. I appreciate the continued love and support that you guys show to the channel, man. I ain't really got too much to say, man. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Y'all already know the vibes of me. And y'all know what's happening. God is love. God loves you. I love you. Chavis crew.